What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I have some interesting information on what could possibly be legit news on the next DLC for Destiny 2. Now I say might, uh, even though this seems 100% legit to me, it's a might because until it's actually confirmed, I won't say it's 100% legit, but it does seem it. So thanks to Dark Soul on Reddit who states he was browsing the Destiny 2 expansion pass on the Xbox store and decided to check out the webpage for the second DLC. He states it had details of the DLC which he quickly took screenshots of before they wiped it. So the screenshots if you do want to check them out can be found linked within the video description. Obviously I ain't stupid enough to showcase them in this video but I will read through them all. So the description for this from what looks to be from a legit page from the Microsoft store states this about the second DLC for Destiny 2. Destiny 2 Expansion 2 Gods of Mars sends your guardian out to investigate a mysterious signal originating from Mars's northern point. A brand new destination with all new story missions and adventures. Rasputin, the last of the ancient war mines, has been alerted to a dark threat from beyond the solar system. He has betrayed humanity and plans to construct a powerful weapon capable of detonating the Traveller itself. Work alongside Anna Bray who has emerged from the shadows after being missing for years and destroy Rasputin before his machinations are realised. Now before we get into the features let's talk a little about this. Now we know or have seen from past leaks that this makes sense but this is the description you'd expect to read from an official source, from an official place like the Xbox store. Now we knew Anna Bray was going to be a big part of the DLC and we knew it surrounded Rasputin so it's making sense. Now onto the features, explore Mars and uncover Rasputin's secret, new story missions and adventures, new theme weapons, armor and gear to earn, new cooperative activities, new cooperative multiplayer arenas, new cooperative raid layer activity, new crow splicer and construct enemy factions and more. So real interesting. Now like I said it seems legit to me but until it's confirmed we will take it with a pinch of salt. That being said I expect to see over the coming weeks more info on the next DLC for Destiny 2. So as we know we will be exploring Mars to uncover Vespian's secret. This is obviously something we already knew. New story missions and adventures, new theme weapons and armour and new gear to earn. You'd expect this from a DLC, I'm not going to lie. New cooperative activities and interestingly it states new competitive multiplayer arena. Could this be the hint Christopher about dropped when asked about things such as the Court of Oryx, Prison of Elders and Arkans Forge returning to Destiny 2 and he confirmed features as such will be returning? I think this might be. Out of the three though I did prefer the Arkans Forge in every way. Now whatever this multiplayer arena is, if the basics of its core elements are built upon a returning activity from Destiny 1, let's hope they did choose Arkans Forge. I speculated about this in a past video and I believe the Infinite Forest would be a great place to hold such an activity. That place in my opinion, although a great concept, is a little underwhelming. It then states new cooperative raid layer. This we knew was coming, confirmed ages ago, but the most interesting part here is the new crawl splicer and construct enemy factions. Now I've done a little research to try and find anything to do with these factions and come up with nothing, not really anyway, one thing which we'll talk about in a second. If you law folks out there have any details to spare, please do down below in that comment section. But I do love the idea of enemy factions, hopefully I doubt it but eventually hopefully we get a new enemy race, I mean all we have had since D1 is new factions. Crow Splicer though does sound cool but sounds kind of fallen-ish. The only info I could find which you will see on screen now when search for related terms that being Crow and Destiny, uh, the Destiny PDA stated the following, Crow may refer to the following. Crow device convert surveillance drones employed by Prince Yudrin Sov of the Reef. Crow title members of the Reef's intelligence service and Yudrin Sov, Queen Mary Sov's brother and the master of crows. Now all of these are interesting but the last line is most interesting for sure. Prince Aldrin Sov is a character we do know from the D1 days. Queen Mary's brother and the master of crows. Aldrin Sov was initially named Crow. This could somehow tie into the origins of this new faction but I will leave that with you. But yes for sure guys it's around these times where details and next DLC starts to drop and I believe this may be the first. Destiny 2 at the moment isn't in the best place but for sure with recent updates and patch details things do seem to be under up. 
Let's just hope most of the core problems are sorted before the second DLC release. If they ain't, then I think it will really impact this DLC, but that's just my opinion. But yes guys, that is it for another video. If any other info drops, I will have you covered here on my channel. But a few interesting things to talk about for sure. Let me know your opinion on this down below within that comments section. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really does help me out. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.